Here we are in section two with the review one, chapter two point review. Number one says create a visual chart. Don't forget to do that. Create a visual chart of all the methods, formulas, and examples from studying how to solve these linear equations. So as a review of chapter two, create that uh, little cheat sheet there where you divide it up into the sections and put the formulas in here. Make it look really good. And that'll help you study for the test. Okay, solve these. Number two. Uh, negative 2 ninths m equals 24. We can just divide by this negative 2 ninths, which is the same as timesing by negative 9 halves. And if you punch that into your calculator, you get negative 108. Number three. Ooh, look at this guy. This is huge. But if we think about this just like uh, peeling off these leaves around the x, we're gonna, I'm gonna subtract five off first, and that's gonna be minus 36. Uh, then I'm gonna divide off this nine, divide off nine there, and we get negative four. Then I'm going to subtract six here, subtract six there, and I get a negative 10. So that's gone. And you see what we've just whittled it down to is this problem here. So yeah, times both sides by four, and you get eight minus six x equals a negative 40. Subtract eight. We better move up here, and we get negative 6x equals a negative 48, and then divide by a negative 6, x equals 8. There we go. Uh, here, get rid of that denominator times both sides by 3, and we get 8x minus 5 equals 99. Add 5 to both sides, we get 8x equals 104. Divide by 8, divide by 8, and we get x equals 13. Number five, solve for t. We want to get t by itself. So again, we've got this stuff we can get rid of. We can times both sides by r immediately. p m f minus t. Now, we could distribute that if we wanted to, or we could divide off the p m and have it gone. r d over p m equals f minus t. And then subtract f, r d over p m minus f equals a negative t. So then we would have to times by a negative 1 to get the t by itself. We end up with t equals negative and a positive f. Negative rd over p m positive f. So we can write it like this. f minus rd over p m. Good. Now you might have gotten a little bit different answer if you distributed this in. Um, you have a PMF minus a PMT. So you could have had, it would be these two fractions added together with a common denominator of PM. So you could have had something like F minus RD over PM or RD minus F over negative PM. All of those would be correct answers. Okay, number six. We're trying to get this for R. So kind of the same thing. We've got to get it off the bottom, but we're looking for that now and watch what happens here. RD equals PM times F minus T oops, f minus t. Now, to get r by itself, just divide by d and we're done. r equals p m f minus t all over d. And that's all we had to do. We didn't have to worry about the parentheses or distributing anything like that. Number seven, 13.2 less than seven times a number, we don't know what the number is, is equal to 18.8. There's our equation. We're in happy land. We can do this. Add 13.2 to both sides. We get 7x equals 32. Divide by 7, we get x equals 32 sevenths. You can turn that into a decimal if you want. That'll work. Number 8. Two numbers add to 36. The first, I'm going to put f for first, is 24 bigger than the second. So the, what are the two numbers? I'm picking f for one variable, s for the other one. So the two numbers, f plus s, add to 336. So we're going to do a little substitution here. Take this 24 plus s. This is what f equals. And we stick it right over there in that f, Whooshing, just like that. And so we get 24 plus s plus s equals 336. So we just rewrote this f plus s equals 336, and there's our f plus s equals 336. 
24 plus 2s equals 336. And then uh, subtract 24, and we get 2s equals 312 s equals 156 when we divide by 2. So that's the second number. And so we stick this guy, we put him right back over in there to find out what f is. f equals 24 plus 156. And so we end up with 180. And there are two things. Number 9. Find the area of the shaded region. We have this circle. It's meant to be a circle. Comes off a little oblong when I copied and pasted it. But it's a circle. And notice it's 20 centimeters across, which means it's 10 going here. So if we find the entire area in there, the area of a circle is pi r squared. And then we subtract off this rectangle, 4 by 8. We multiply that then we'll be left with this guy right in here. 4 times 8 is 32. So if we punch that in the calculator, pi times 10 squared minus 32 gives us uh, 282 point, round to the, I don't know, two decimal places is fine, or if you did 282.2, that'd be fine too. And we are in centimeters squared, because this is an area. Good.